welcome back. I'm Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving and I just wanted to share a quick little uh, tip with you uh, while I'm hemming these towels. So in my previous video on weaving these towels you may have noticed that I inserted a uh, blue line right here in the hemming area. So this little line is a uh, thread that I've just inserted in here. It's a it's supposed to be a slippery thread. I've reused it a few times, so it's a little challenging to get out. Um, but I've just put it in the shed, and it's about uh, two thirds of the length of my hem allowance. What this does is it will give me a fold line. Um, now. Obviously, you don't want a blue thread in there, so uh, the reason you're supposed to use a slippery thread is you um, pull it out. Let's see if I can do it. Like I said, I've reused it a few times, so the last one came out pretty easy, but this one is... Ah, there we go. Okay, so just... Carefully pull it out. Try not to break it, otherwise we're going to have to be picking it out. All right, there we go. Okay, we'll just push that off to the side. So now, hopefully you can see this. So now we have a small little gap here in our hem allowance. What this is going to allow me to do is have a fold line that I can fold my top edge of my hem down to, and then I can fold my hem over like that and I will have a perfectly even hem. So I did it on the other side already. So here is where my uh, little thread that I had in there, um, I took out. You can't even see it now. It's closed itself up, uh, but it gives me a nice, even hem all the way across that I don't have to measure. I don't have to eyeball th which thread that I'm folding on. I just th fold it over to it, fold it over again on it, and Bob's your uncle. So anyways, I just thought I would share that uh, quick little trick with you. And I will go ahead and do this second hem. So give it a good press. Now I'm just going to fold down to just above that line. So my iron is one of those newer ones that has the safety feature that if it's down in an ironing position for more than 30 seconds, it will shut itself off. So you have to tip it up every few seconds. It's kind of a pain, but I've gotten used to it. I really do like this iron. Um, when I was in the market for new iron, I did a lot of research and read a lot of reviews. And uh, this particular one, it did, the reviews did comment on that tip over feature. Oops. But um, they all have it. So the only other annoying feature is the 
controls for turning the heat up and down are right here, which happen to be right under your hand when you're ironing. And you will shut it off by accident occasionally or turn the temperature down or up. <laughs> Mostly down because I iron right-handed and the down button is on the right side. So. All right, so now we're going to fold again all over, uh, right on that line. And this happens to put our, the, t the fold line of our hem right at the first uh, line of the fish borders. So now I, when I'm doing my hems, oh, I have a thread there. Uh, I tend to fold, I dog ear that first fold like that. And then when I fold the second fold, uh, it doesn't stick out. This makes it a lot nice, a lot neater. And then to hold this all in place, I will use my uh, handy fabric clips. And you can either um, hand sew these hems or machine sew them. I tend to machine sew them because I hate hand sewing. <laughs> it's all ready to uh, take over to the sewing machine and sew. You've seen me sew before, so I won't demonstrate that part. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to get notifications of when I release more videos, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks and happy weaving.